but let's make sure we're having an honest, fact-based, and, and, and reasonable discussion on, on being able to move infrastructure forward in a way that's going to allow us to, uh, you know, again, realize the opportunity we have here. Namely, that investments in oil and natural gas development, as well as an infrastructure that supports that development, are huge, huge jobs generators in the construction industry. Other forms of energy have their place, no doubt. But natural gas is becoming, maybe already is, the backbone of America's energy economy. And it is clean. In 2013, Sean, that's exactly right. We had the highest gas cost in the nation in the Northeast. And Marcellus is not very far away. It, it, to me, it just doesn't make sense. Through these private sector investments, we can create these ladders of opportunity, particularly through the construction industry and direct hire in the, in the energy industry, okay, for uh, traditionally folks that have been left behind. I'm talking about women, uh, folks of color, and of course our veterans. We know this investment is necessary because there is no other source that can meet the nation's needs for clean energy in sufficient volume while also addressing safety, timeliness, reliability, affordability, and reducing carbon emissions. We're talking about the, the benefit for the customer, doing it from the customer's perspective, because they're the ones, as Sean shared, his daughters, they're the ones who are paying the price for the lack of in infrastructure. 